Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's look, I did create this look for you guys. It is what I like to call copper eyes and a bold lip. Um, for this look, I did pick up the Melissa Michelle palette from Ulta. Um, I saw a lot of people raving about it on YouTube, so I wanted to give it a shot for myself. For my lip, I did decide to do something more bold and fall. So um, I gave you guys two different options. Um, the first option was this Nick NYX Lippy, and it is a butter lipstick and super wearable during the day if you are not into the super dark, bold lip. My second one, which is my favorite, and it's what I'm wearing um, right now, is this one. It's the ColourPop and I Love Sara E um, collab that they did together, and this is in the shade Mamacita, and it is so pretty, you guys. I love it because it's not too much on the red and berry side, and it's also not super dark where it almost looks black. Um, I definitely recommend this if you guys are looking for a pretty um, shade for the fall. This would be the winner. If you guys want to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and pick up the color Universal from the Morphe 3502 palette and using my Morphe M533 brush, we're just going to go ahead and put this all over the lid just in windshield wiper motions just so we can go ahead and build up that color and have a nice transition shade. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the color Orb with my Morphe M535 brush. And this color is a little bit warmer. It's definitely going to go ahead and add a little bit more depth onto the eye and just warm up um, that lid so that we can go ahead and apply the third color. <laughs> The next color that I'm picking up is the color Chestnut and with this color I'm going to go ahead and pick it up on an e.l.f. blending eye brush. This brush is just a little bit more dense which will distribute the color a little more on the crease instead of all over the lid. <laughs> Now picking up the color Harley, which is in the Melissa Michelle palette, we're just going to go ahead and define the crease a little bit. And the brush that I am using is a crease brush from the MUA Professionals line. And we're just going to go ahead and apply this all over the crease. Picking up the color Wheezy from the Melissa Michelle palette on my Morphe M533 brush, I'm just going to go ahead and soften up the edges and blend everything in together. <laughs> To add the lid color, I'm just taking some of the coconut rose water and I'm just spraying my brush so that we can go ahead and intensify that color. To intensify this color a little bit more just because it is a little bit more on the copper side, I do want to add the color Teresita which is also in the Melissa Michelle palette and this color I'm just applying it right in the center um, just to bring out the color a little bit more. Now that we have blended all of our colors, let's go ahead and remove the tape. I'm taking some of this Tarte Maracuja oil. I find it very hydrating for the skin and it helps my makeup stay on. Um, just applying this all over the face. 
picking up my beauty blender I'm gonna go ahead and just pounce this all over my face to make sure that this product gets nice and soaked into the skin for primer, I'm going to be using the Milani Prime Shield Face Primer. This primer is mattifying and pore minimizing, and it just makes my foundation look nice and smooth along with keeping my face matte throughout the day. For foundation, I'm going to be picking up the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I am in the shade Desert Beige, and I like applying it with the little spatula that comes in this little bottle. It's just super easy to use. I don't have to get my fingers dirty or anything like that. I'm just going to go ahead and spray my Real Technique sponge, and I'm going to go ahead and blend my foundation. I like using a blender better than a brush for this foundation just because I feel it gives me a more flawless airbrushed look so I am using that technique today instead of my brush After we've blended our foundation evenly throughout our face, I'm going to go ahead and pick up my Wet n Wild Contour Stick. This is in the shade Where's Walnut, and I just really like this color. It is a nice bronzy shade and perfect for contouring. To blend out my contour, I'm using this e.l.f. stippling brush, and this brush just does the trick when it comes to blending out the perimeters of my face. It's just nice and tiny, and it gets everything nice and blended. To blend out my nose contour, I like using this little tiny dome brush. It's just perfect size um, along my nose to blend out the nose contour. To highlight and conceal, I'm going to go ahead and take my LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer and I'm just going to apply a little bit of this under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead and on, the, on my chin so that we can go ahead and brighten up those areas. <laughs> So once we have made pretty drawings on our face, we're going to go ahead and grab a wet beauty sponge and we're just going to go ahead and blend in the concealer and then we're also blending in the contours so that it all looks nice and seamless. <laughs> To set the face, I'm going to be using this powder from Revolution. It is just a translucent powder and I'm just using it with a dome brush from BH Cosmetics. Just applying it under the eyes, under my contour, on my forehead and chin and also on the bridge of my nose. To 
set my contour, I'm going to be picking up the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm taking these two shades on an angled brush, and I'm going to go ahead and bronze up the cheeks, my forehead, and under my jaw. Once we have warmed up the face, I like to go in with an angled brush and just go over my nose contour. Moving on to blush, we're using this blush from Tarte. It is in the color Feisty and it's this pretty corally pink color. I'm just going to go ahead and dust this all over the cheeks to add a little flush of color. With a small brush, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the highlight color Holler and the color Lola from the palette. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this under my brow and on the inner corners of my eyes. to the lower lash line with a small crease brush I am picking up the color universal and orb from the morphe 3502 palette and just running this all along the lash line and then to intensify the look I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the color Bing Bing and rosemary which is from the Melissa Michelle palette and I'm just also running that along the lash line just so that everything that we did on the top is the same thing that we did on the bottom and then to intensify the lower lash line we're adding Harley to the outer corners Next, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. You guys are more than welcome at this moment to add in any falsies. I'm just going to go ahead and get them ready for some mascara. For a mascara combo, I am using the Maybelline The Colossal Volume Express and the CoverGirl Clump Crusher and just applying a generous amount of coats onto my lashes. For highlight, I am using the Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Gold. I really love this color. It is a nice light golden shade. It's not too intense, but it is buildable, and it just looks perfect on all skin tones. I love this for a drugstore highlighter. I like applying this on the high points of my face, which are the tops of my cheekbones, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. To set the brows, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Voluminizer. I am in the color Deep Brown, and we're just going to apply a generous coat of this onto the brows. It does have little fibers, so it is perfect to give it some volume and keep your eyebrows intact. <laughs> For the first lip combo, I am just taking the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. This is in the color Cherry Skies. And we're just going to go ahead and line our lips so that we have a good guide as to where we're going to be applying um, that lip color after this. <laughs> For the first lip color, we have this 
Butter Lipstick from NYX and it is in the color Ripe Berry and I am just going to go ahead and apply a good layer of this onto my lips. Definitely a lot more on the berry side as you guys can tell so for me this would be more of a daytime wearable look. And for the second color we have Mamacita which is the ColourPop and I Love Sarai collab that they did together. This is a deeper plum fall color which I absolutely love. I'm just applying it right over that um, NYX lipstick because I personally don't think it makes a difference but I just applied this over it and it looks perfect. And now to set the face, we are going to use the Sun Rose Water and Coconut Face Spray. I love pretty much drenching myself in this. But this completes the look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And thank you for watching.